I am Dr. Nyambura Koigi. I sit in the Risk and Compliance Committee and I chair that committee. Risk compliance is really looking at the interest of the various stakeholders, ensuring that the clients are being served as they should, the interest of the, all the other stakeholders, especially the regulators, to ensure that uh, we are doing what we should do as far as uh, offering services is concerned and reporting on the same. In 1984, when I had just uh, worked for hardly three years, there were some houses being sold. And like every ambitious young graduate, I thought I could own a house. And uh, I looked for a mortgage and I found a mortgage. And there was a deposit to be paid. And the, the fees that had to be to be uh, paid, like uh, the legal fees, uh, stamp duty and all that and all that. And I did not have all the money that was required. And I told the agent that was selling the, those houses that I have this, I don't have this, but I'm interested in buying the house. I paid what I could and he told me for the balance that you are having, I'll talk to the owner of the houses and if he's agree, if agrees, then we will be able to sell the house to you. There was a lot of demand on those houses, but he said, I have seen the interest you have and the effort you have done to raise the money that you have raised. So after two weeks, he called me back and said, the seller of the property has agreed to give you a period to pay the difference. So I told him, uh, do I need to pay on a monthly basis or what? He said, no, give me post-dated checks. And I did write post-dated checks for the amount that was outstanding. And I processed the mortgage and uh, soon I was moving into my own house. Because I did not know this person, I kept on praying for that person because the kind of kindness that was extended to me, I had not seen the kind of kindness from a stranger or somebody I don't know because I did not know the person who had agreed to give me that grace. 2015, I was called by somebody and told that uh, there is a bank looking for uh, directors to their board and uh, whether I was interested and I said yes I am interested. I came over and I was uh, interviewed by the executive director and uh, as it turns out the rest is history. We went through the, the normal process and uh, I became the first female board member at NM and we thank God for that. And yes, from then we have served as chairman of the various committees and uh, both a board member of both the group and at the bank. Come 2021, as I was talking to other young people about not being afraid of going out to acquire assets, because there'll be somebody outside there that will help them. I looked, they asked me, I, that can only happen in the last century. I told them, no, it can happen it today. And I went around from my drawer and picked the papers that proved what I was telling them is true. And it's at that stage I saw a signature that looked very familiar. But the names were, I could not remember, all the names were not quite familiar. And I realized the person who helped me decades ago is somebody I've been working with in the recent past without really realizing that it was him. So I came with the papers to inquire and sure enough it turned up that Mr. Suresh is the one who gave me that grace. When I was a young person requiring, wanting to buy a house and not having all the resources. My interaction with him has actually proved that he is a person who takes care of the interests of the people interact with, the customers, and indeed even at the board level you can see his interest in the person, not just being a board member but in the person. 
As you know, there are challenges with corporate uh, governance uh, area in most organizations. But uh, at NM Bank, we have put structures in place that ensures that uh, we follow good governance from the leadership all the way to all the levels. Everybody knows that what they are supposed to do, we communicate. And uh, we have policies and procedures that guide in what needs to be done. Within the board, we have various capacities, uh, ranging from leadership, from finance, from audit. And uh, the, the diverse capacity makes us gel, makes us look at all the aspects of business and ensuring that uh, all the reg relevant regulations are followed while we serve the customer efficiently. Uh, actually, when I joined the board, uh, Mr. Suresh was the chairman of the bank. And uh, I saw leadership at its best in a quiet manner, but really leading the bank into the direction that uh, had already been set in the strategy. And it's true because having started the finance institution that later on became INM, he has a lot of experience and is a people's man. He talks to people, community and business and he knows what he's doing. In governance, you have to know when to step in and step back. And we saw the transition come in when Chairman uh, Emeritus stepped down as a chairman and Sarit took over the leads. And uh, this is what institutions that have good governance should be doing. In every uh, business, there are things that one should be wary of and uh, take care of. And this includes issues relating to, uh, let's say, how you develop the staff, how you you even expand your business and how you serve customers. Uh, we have uh, a diverse staff from all regions of Kenya, ethnic groups and uh, races, and uh, we give everybody an opportunity to join in the bank. Uh, when they join, of course, there is a training program that you have to go through, and we have continuous uh, trainings and exposure to all staff to ensure that they understand what is demanded of their position within the organization and how they should serve their customers.